Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel, welcome to Laruan ni Obi Wan. For this afternoon's review, we are going to take a look at a Valaver's product. So from their Action Force line, the Action Force comics, we have the Garrison Cavalry Trooper. Okay, so we have the action figure out of packaging and we're going to really enjoy the unboxing process and discovery of the details of the action figure. So we have the action figure and the rest of the accessories the are already actually on the figure. So magazine, uh, magazines, um, knife, medical pouch, pistol holster, communications gear, and on the side of the tray, we have the rifle, pistol, a ballistic helmet with face covering, and several sets of hands. We also have a very nice figure stand. It is nice and wide with Action Force logo. And we have several pegs on this stand. So, giving the figure more stability with the figure. So, when you take out the covering, you still have a plastic uh, sheet that you're going to peel off. So, just like your out iPhone, when you take it out of packaging, you, this product is really nicely secured so the details are really protected so let's take the figure out of packaging and take a closer look at it so right off out of packaging you are greeted by two trigger finger hands and we have several handsets on board so i just realized right now is it it is because with regards to the orientation of the action figure collector which of course if you're also right-handed or left-handed that is the way that you're going to sheet weight or hold or let your figure hold on to the rifle so automatically if you're a right-handed person i'm a right-handed person so i'm going to pose this rifle on the right side and i'm going to use the handsets that are equivalent for the left side of the action figure but if you're a left-handed person then you're going to use this handset and you're going to display the rifle on this side with the corresponding handsets from the right tray so really nice touch valvers for um, including that um, option or versatility with posing this figure um, but the thing that I'm just not clear is with regards to the pistol holster. Of course, if you're going to um, change positions as a shooter from the right to the left, then this pistol holster is going to go to the left thigh. But with regards to the orientation of the pistol holster, it is oriented towards a right hand shooters so let's discuss articulation points on this action figures for the head side to side motion okay how about the tilts looking down descent looking up wow so that's a lot of head tilt for looking up so great I'm impressed so for the shoulder area, how much of a butterfly notion or motion do we have or get from these shoulders? So really nice and wide actually and the action is smooth. So not stiff out of the packaging uh, of this um, uh, product so for the shoulder for the bicep we have rotation of the bicep two points of articulation for the elbow which are pinless and we have rotation on the handset 
and the hinge would be on the face of the handsets so that is visible when you take out a sample from the handsets that are included so the hinge is just right there okay. so let's move towards the body so we have two points of articulation one would be on the diaphragm and one would be on the waistline now the diaphragm um, ball system actually is covered by the body armor but if you take a hold of the waistline this way and try to articulate that diaphragm joint so you're going to get motion from that so actually it is okay and to add to that um, body motion we have a ball system again for the waistline so that is how much bend you could do forwards bend you could do backwards so if it's going the articulation points would just be centered on on the waistline you can not do this type of motion so let's do some sideways and the other side okay so even if we have body armor on this figure it does not hinder the articulation points on the figure really nice okay so let's move towards the leg so the leg has drop leg function too we have a cut on the thigh for rotation of the thigh two points of articulation for the knee and how much bend do we have and especially how does that bend look decent but this bend could still be improved okay so for the shin we, ha we have rotation of the boot we have a hinge on the foot and a rocker for the foot so let's discuss the details on this action figure so without the rest of the um, accessories on just basically the figure so we have the knife two p uh, magazine holders for the rifle we have a secondary belt possibly for um, holding on to other accessories or the helmet because of that loop we have a separate thigh holster we have a separate piece or accessory piece for the individual first aid kit or pack we have the radio and the antenna on this figure is detachable so if you want to store this figure then you could uh, if you and especially if you don't want to break the antenna you could take it off and we have molded um, connection point from the multibind radio to the front of the receiver set and the paint on the body armor is really nice and clean so this is the look at the knife so standard valvers knife um, configuration so this is the knife that i also had on the punisher figure that i just custom and we also have details on the of, um, patches i mean on the armor so that patch and possibly the state of texas flag I really don't know if that is it and we have a carabiner um, on the body armor so for example you have a 
um, sling for the rifle then you could attach the sling to the carabiner so just in case um, you lose hold of your rifle then it's not going to stray far from your body so that's the use of the carabiner and that's the reason why it's there so really nice touch um, the only thing that is missing actually in this action figure would be the presence of uh, pouches for holding on to the ammunition of the pistol because we have a pistol but nowhere on this um, but on the body of the figure do we have a pistol um, magazine pouch so I guess if you have the pistol on this it's just going to be a one magazine thing so if it's a 16 plus one then that's the only ammunition you'll have for the pistol but if you have other accessories laying around for magazine pouch then you could attach it to this um, plate carrier so you still have the option but it would have been nice if the magazine pouch has already been included with this set okay so let's take a look at the rifle so HNK the G36 We have a detachable magazine. And we have two additional magazines on the plate carrier. So, really nice touch. So, let's take a look at the pistol and the helmet. So we have the sidearm or the pistol for this Garrison Cavalry Trooper. So take a look at the design because with actual details to the pistol where this um, was copied onto which is a Walter PDP. So let's take an image of a Walter PDP. So compared to the details that are on board with this pistol really spot on so really nice touch so just as i mentioned earlier all of the design elements of the actual hnk g36 are on this small replica or this toy so you're really going to enjoy your play time of this action figure and just for curiosity purpose i wanted to know whether the smallest component of this rifle is true to the design of the actual thing so i don't have a g36 but i have a p mag on board so i took one from my kit so we could take a look at the actual p mag and the one that is included with this um, G36 replica so take a look at the design especially this part here here and the design of the base plate so that is the same as the one that we have on this rifle So just a smaller version so with regards to detail I really applaud uh, Valovers for their action force line so I'm really now convinced that I'm going to make further purchases of action force figures versus Hasbro's GI Joe classified series line so i love the components or the accessories that are included i love the design of the action figure 
the quality of the accessories and how the figure is made is really better than the G.I. Joe classified series line one thing for example take a look at the boot of this figure so we have of course the peg hole for the stand but we have a full on thread pattern for the boot but if you take out a G.I. Joe classified series action figure look at that So we only have the peg and the threads are just good for show if you're going to display the figure this way. But we don't have any actual threads on the boot which are present on the Valaverse action figure. So the last thing that we're going to discuss would be the helmet that is included with this figure so something similar to the russian spetsnaz commandos um general issued helmet which is the altin helmet it's a full face ballistic cover with this kind of function wherein you could lift the ballistic cover for the face to reveal the face of the wearer so really nice touch and the opening is wide enough that you could still really see the eyes and the nose of this action figure so unlike other um, action figures line wherein they include something like this but the eyes and the nose or part of the face is really not visible but with this that is really a nice wide opening but at the same time you would really um, know that if this was the actual thing that the face of the wearer would be uh, really protected by uh, from gunfire and let's take out that piece so if you don't like this ballistic cover face cover so you could easily take it out and this is your standard Valaverse helmet wherein if you have still um, other accessory pieces that could fit on the ear sockets or in the ear side and if you have extra night vision then you could still attach it to this helmet so you actually you really have a lot of options with this action force line so if you really like this review just as I really enjoyed making it and reviewing all of the details on this figure please do like comment and subscribe and let's go to the photos and the video shots